People arrive at Montessori in different ways. Some of you grew up with it. Some of you learned about it in your teaching programs or heard about it through word of mouth. Some of you have seen pictures of it online and are attracted by the beauty and minimalism of the environment. Others are drawn in by those same things but are also discouraged by the costliness of the wooden toys and equipment that some of us might only dream about. The good news is that Montessori is available to everybody, no matter what your budget or what age or stage your children are in, if you keep the following big ideas in mind. This video explains the five big ideas of the Montessori method. The Absorbent Mind From birth to about age six, children have minds that practically absorb everything around them. Many people assume that children don't learn much during this stage only because they don't remember anything. While it's true that they don't form episodic memories early on, it's because the other parts of the brain are growing at an astonishing rate. About a million neural connections each second. This is when they learn more thoroughly, quickly, and efficiently than at any other time in their life. According to Maria Montessori, babies from zero to two have a mostly unconscious absorbent mind and tend to direct their attention to anything that attracts it. Children eventually gain control over their ability to direct their own attention, which happens between 18 to 36 months. To help children develop this control, Montessori environments are designed to minimize things that may overstimulate them. Providing an environment that fosters focus and concentration is paramount. Sensitive periods. A sensitive period is a time or stage in a person's development when they are more responsive to certain stimuli and quicker to learn particular skills. A child experiencing a sensitive period will show an especially strong interest nearing a joyful obsession with doing certain activities or tasks. If they're able to practice it enough, they are able to master the task and move on to practicing the next one. The sensitive periods from birth to six include movement, like crawling or walking, noticing patterns, emotional control, need for order, interest in small objects, vocabulary, special period for sensation, letter shapes and sounds, music, and literacy. The Montessori method acknowledges the importance of these sensitive periods and recommends that parents create environments that allow the children to practice and master their emerging skills. The Prepared Environment Children develop best in environments that are calm, orderly, and supportive of their needs. An environment that meets these criteria is called a prepared environment, with care and thought given to almost every facet. Montessori environments are often designed to maximize the child's ability to concentrate, filled with materials that allow children to learn and practice skills on their own without needing much adult intervention. Here, teachers act as a guide on the side, rather than a sage on the stage. Adults also model the behaviors expected, including respect for others and materials, grace, and courtesy. A 2017 study found that highly decorated classrooms are more of a hindrance than an aid to learning, particularly so for children in the early primary years. It's perhaps ironic that the rooms for the youngest children tend to be the most over-decorated. When it comes to young children, less is more. This simplicity is an important part of the prepared environment, whether it's in school or in the home. Control of Error Children learn quickly and generally prefer to correct themselves rather than be corrected by an adult. Making mistakes is a normal and important part of learning. This inspired Maria Montessori to create self-correcting materials with a built-in control of error, making it possible for children to learn and master skills by themselves, checking their work along the way, and building confidence and self-esteem. 
These materials can be completed in only one way. Several baby and toddler materials with a controller variable built in include the object permanence box, imbucati box, ring on a dowel, knob cylinder, egg in a cup, and simple single shaped puzzle. Practical life skills. Lastly, our practical life skills, which Montessori believed are some of the best ways for children to develop fine and gross motor skills, socialization, vocabulary, and more. These skills include cleaning and caring for the environment and preparing food. In Montessori rooms, children are often engaged in activities such as wiping tables, cleaning mirrors, slicing fruit, sweeping floors, pouring and transferring, using utensils, and setting tables. These activities not only teach skills, but teach about the surrounding culture, including how to behave in it and how to improve it. Many visitors to Montessori rooms are often surprised by how calm, beautiful, and quiet a room full of toddlers can be, which is just one of the many more visible positive outcomes of this unique approach to learning, which shouldn't really be unique at all, since it generally works so well. This summarizes the five biggest ideas of the Montessori method. For more information about how to apply these ideas to babies and toddlers, visit this website, aidtolife.org.